A bicycle wheel has a diameter of 26 inches. If the bicycle is moving at 30 miles per hour, find the angular speed of the wheel in revolutions per minute. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to think about this. All right, we've got this bicycle, this bicycle, and so someone's up here pedaling. And so these wheels, these wheels are turning. Okay, we're trying to find the angular speed, how many revolutions per minute, the amount of rotation per time. And we're told that the radius is 26, or the diameter is 26 inches, so the radius is 13. And the bicycle's moving at 30 miles per hour. So think about this, the, the bicycle is moving forward at 30 miles per hour, you could also think of it as the bicycle being still and the road is zipping by at 30 miles per hour. And the road contacts the wheel, presumably without slipping, right down there at the bottom. So if you picture, if you picture the wheel as, if you picture the bike is still and the wheel is just turning, it's turning such that a point on the rim of the wheel is moving in a, at a linear speed around the center of 30 miles an hour. In other words, relative to the center of the wheel, a point on the rim is moving at 30 miles an hour. So that 30 miles an hour, that is our V for this problem. The, the velocity, the linear velocity of a point that's moving in a circle. So now think of the problem this way. In one minute, okay, you're going 30 miles per hour. So you might see that that would take you 0.5 miles in one minute, 0 0.5 miles. Because if you're going 60 miles per hour, remember there's 60 minutes in an hour, if you're going 60 miles per hour, that would be one mile per minute. So 30 miles per hour is exactly half of that, half of a mile in one minute. So you go one mile, and then the question is, how many revolutions is this? How many revolutions of this wheel is half a mile. In other words, this wheel is turning around and around and around and around and around. How many revolutions does it have to go through for a point on the rim of the wheel to move half a mile? Well, that's the question and the answer. Well, let's look at this. 0.5 miles. Let's convert this to inches since we're given lengths in inches. So I know there's 5,280 feet per mile. And I know there's 12 inches per foot. And you can see the miles cancel out. And the feet also cancel out, leaving us with inches. This is 31,680 inches. And I need to figure out how many revolutions that is. Well, one revolution is 2 pi r the circumference of the circle. So that's 2 times pi and the radius is 13 inches. We know that because the diameter was 26. That comes out to 81.68 inches and we just divide the two. 31,680 divided by 81.68 comes out to 388 that's 388 revolutions per minute. Okay, let me show you another way to think about the same problem. I could just do the whole problem as a unit conversion. I could take 30 miles per hour and say I'm going to convert that to revolutions per minute. Watch this. 30 miles per hour, remember, was given. So I start there. I know that one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes and you can see the hours are going to cancel and I know that there's 5,280 feet per mile and look there see the miles now the miles cancels out and I know there's 12 inches per foot and feet cancels out and then I know that there's one revolution. One revolution is 2 pi r. And 2 pi 
times r, r remember is 13 inches. And the inches cancel out. And look what I'm left with. Revolutions up top per minute down below. So that's revolutions per minute. So the answer will be 30 times 5,280 times 12 divided by 60 and also divided by that. It will be that many revolutions per minute. So everything that hasn't canceled out, we work that out. And if you multiply and divide, do 30 times 5280 times 12 divided by all those things in the denominator, it comes out, of course, to 388, and that's in revolutions per minute. And either way, thinking through the problem this way or this way, either way is perfectly valid, and of course you get the same answer.